In this example, we have an elevator that is going up with a speed v. It uh, is being pulled by a cable with constant tension t, and it is accelerating uh, upward with acceleration a. And it accelerates then over some distance h. And we want to know the work done by tension, gravity, as well as the change in kinetic energy and the final velocity of the system. All right, so we want to do this by first calculating. We're going to, just for example, uh, we want to know the work done by each force. So, so what are the forces on this, on the elevator? So there's tension acting up, and then there's the force of gravity acting down, here's my free body system, and these are the only forces on the system, and it's leading to an acceleration that is up. So we want to calculate the work. So we know that each of the forces are constant, so the work done by the tension is equal to the tension vector times the dot product uh, with, of the tension vector with respect to the displacement vector. And, and so what is the displacement vector? Well, it is a vector since we have uh, a going and moving in a straight line, we have a displacement vector. And it is a vector that it has a magnitude h in this case and is directed uh, up. And so we have here the magnitude of the tension times the magnitude of the displacement vector times cosine theta for the dot product. Theta is the angle between the two vectors tail to tail, which in this case is zero. So this is just the magnitude of the tension times the magnitude of the displacement ve vector, which is just h. So remember, this expression right here for the work only is true when you have a constant force as well as a straight line uh, path that can be described by a single displacement vector. All right, so now with the work due to gravity is the gravitational force uh, dotted into the displacement vector. The magnitude mg, mass is the, uh, m is the mass of the elevator, times the displacement vector magnitude, cosine theta. Now in this case, notice that while the displacement vector is directed up, the force due to gravity displaced is, is pointing down, so cosine theta is negative 1. So this is negative mg, the magnitude of the displacement vector, with his, which is h. So the network is the sum of all the individual works on the system. So that's tension times the height minus mass acceleration of gravity times height. And the work kinetic energy theorem says that this is the change in kinetic energy of the system, which is then one half mv final squared minus one half mv initial squared. And so this is the change in kinetic energy we found here. This is related to the initial and final velocities, and so we can uh, solve for the final velocity. We were told that the initial velocity is, is sorry, not, not rest, no, it was not zero, it's just some uh, velocity v. So if I solve now for my final velocity, I get my final velocity squared is equal to my initial velocity squared plus 2 over m times the tension times the height minus mg times the height. And, and I can use this now to solve for uh, the final. Uh, if, and I can go ahead and sol solve that. Let's, let's look check something here just for a minute. Uh, my forces are constant, and so I'm going to look at this uh, expression. Here's vi squared. I'm going to pull out this factor of h here, 2mh, and that gives me t minus mg. Note that this is the net force. 
I'm only in one dimension. T is the magnitude of the, the tension force. Mg is the magnitude of the gravitational force. So in one dimension, the, the difference of those two magnitudes is the net force, which is equal to mass times the acceleration. If I put that back into here, and so I get initial squared plus 2mhma, masses cancel, and I get vi squared plus 2ah, which is this case, say, delta x. If I were to say this were my positive x direction, and you might recognize that this is our relationship from the constant acceleration kinematics uh, chapter. And so the result we get by calculating the net work on the system is consistent with our constant uh, kinematics expressions in this case because, of course, we had constant forces.